Hello everyone! You know what? As a teacher, I'm so excited with this episode because, biruin nyo, pwede pala tayong mag-live online classroom session sa ating mga estudyante complete with PowerPoint presentation gamit lamang ang ating cellphone. Kung gusto mong malaman kung paano, just stick around till the end of this video at isashare ko sa'yo how you can maximize the use of your cell phone bilang isang 21st century educator in this age of mobile technology. Hey there, this is Sean, your partner from ProjectZion.com and in this video, I will give you a simple tutorial on how to use the mobile version of Zoom that you can install in your cell phone for free. It's called Zoom Cloud Meetings. You can grab this app from Google Play Store and to save you time, I've already included the download link in the description below. To start this tutorial, I am using my Oppo F1S Plus bilang host cell phone or yung cell phone na magsisimula ng meeting. Later on, we will be using a Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime para naman dun sa ating participant. Kahit magkakaiba kayo ng cell phone, this will still work. So if it's your first time, click on Play Store. Look for Zoom Cloud Meetings. So, nakikita nyo, meron na akong comment dun sa baba because in-install ko na ito dati. But for this tutorial, tinanggal ko na siya ulit para para parehas tayo ng gagawin. Let us all click on install. Go through the process. Wait for it to be downloaded and installed in your cell phone. There you go. For the meantime, hindi na muna po tayo mag-update. Sabay-sabay tayong i-open ito. Click on open. Open your app and then you open it. On start a meeting page, we have three options. Join a meeting which is for participants. The sign up to make your own Zoom account but it's not necessary. The last one is sign in. Click on sign in. On the sign-in page, the first thing is the email address and the password fields para sa Zoom account. We will use the other options which is on the lower part of the screen. To be best that we choose the Google account which is Gmail account. Let's all click on Google. It says here choose an account. Maybe it's because I got a couple of email accounts on this cell phone. Pipiliin ko yung una which is my personal email account. Zoom should launch in a few seconds. If not, please click button below. Just click on that link. Launch Zoom. We are now on the Meet in Chat page connected to the button which is in the lower left corner of the screen. Let's discuss what's on the screen. First, we have our profile picture sa aking Google account na pinili. On top of that, we have four buttons. The new meeting, the join, and then we also have the schedule button kapag gusto mo mag-schedule ng mga future meetings. And then share screen button. Yan ang pinaka gagamitin natin feature but we are not gonna use this particular button because ang gagamitin natin ay yung nasa loob mismo ng meeting. Again, this is the meet and chat. Susunod dito yung parang relo which is meetings, the logbook kung saan marerecord yung mga activity mo, contacts, and then the settings. So before we proceed with the actual meeting, I need you to click on settings because since this is our first time, meron tayong mga babaguhing settings. Let's all click on settings. On the settings main page, we have the contacts, meeting, chat, and about. Click on meeting. On the meeting settings, yung unang-unang makikita nyo ay yung auto connect to audio. We need to turn that on. So you can see the other option aside from office use internet. So click on that and then click on the back arrows dun sa upper left corner. Balik tayo sa meeting settings. Scroll till you see show name when participants join. Kung ibig sabihin nun, kapag may biglang sumali, magno-notify siya sa'yo. Scroll again, look for use original sound. Open din po natin yan to maximize yung pickup ng microphone. Susunod sa use original sound ay show my connected time. Optional po yan, depende sa inyo. The next is safe driving mode. Turn it off. Yun lang po. Ang... So let's click on again the back arrow on the upper left for Let's click on meet and chat. We are now ready to start a meeting. Let's click on the first option. Click on start a meeting. There you go. Hello. So we are now on the main screen. We have the speaker, camera, and if you want to end, the option is end. Kapag ikaw ang sumali, 
na nakalagay dyan ay leave. So, dito naman sa baba, we have the mute button for staff video. Yung kaninang sinabi kong screen share, nandyan po sa loob. Yan natin siya kukunin. Participant. So, tingnan natin kung sino ang present sa meeting natin ngayon. Let's click on participant. At makikita nyo dito sa listahan, iisa pa lang tayo yun. Alright, so let's close this one. So, ano ba itong nandito sa taas na ang sabi niya ay zoom na wala? Balik natin by touching the screen. Ang nakalagay po dyan the first time ay yung mismong meeting ID. Tapos, yung timer na yan, tapos sa ilalim ng timer na yan, nandun yung password para sa meeting. So, nasaan na siya ngayon? Kung nakikita nyo, may drop-down arrow yung Zoom. Kailangan nyo pong buksan yan dahil kailangan yung ibigay ang information ng meeting sa inyong mga participants. The meeting ID and there's the password. So, we were able to set up the host cellphone. This time, magsasali tayo ng pangalawang cellphone na nakikipag-participate sa ating meeting. So, tulad dyan sa ating unang ginawa, bubuksan niya yung kanyang Zoom. And then, dahil siya ay sasali, hindi na niya kailangan dumaan sa sign-up procedure. Dahil dito pa lang sa unang page, meron na agad yung join a meeting. So, we're going to click on that one. And then, it says here, join a meeting. Dito na po papasok yung dalawang information na kailangan yung ibigay sa inyong participant. So, this screen is asking for the meeting ID. So, let's look for the meeting ID dun sa ating host telephone. So, kung hindi malabo ang mata ko, it's 788-3570 and then 9398-938. And then, click on Join Meeting. Alright, so this time it's asking for the password. So let's give the password. The password is 2JY, 2 small j and small y, and then I think it's a D, small d, and FL. So as you can see, meron na po tayong uh, active Zoom participant. Ang nakikita nyo sa screen is actually a video preview. Ibig sabihin, may chance pa siyang mag-ayos-ayos ng kanyang sarili para bago siya sumali, mag-retouch-retouch muna. Okay? Alright. So, we will, give, we will be clicking on Join with Video. Okay. Ngayon, nung sumali po siya, as you can see here, naghihintay siya ngayon ng permission to be accepted doon sa meeting. Parang nagpapaalam muna itong participant na ito doon sa host. Kaya doon sa host cellphone, lilitaw ang kanyang pangalan at kailangan siyang i-admit. So we're going to hit admit in this host cellphone. There you go. So that's how you connect your cell phone as a participant through the host cell phone it could be your boss or your teacher to give you an idea kung paano niyo gagamitin ang inyong cell phone para magpakita ng powerpoint slides mag uh, magbukas ng picture or mag open ng documents i'm using a third camera to show the actual cell phones sa left po yan po ang kunwaring cell phone ng teacher na nandun sa sarili niyang bahay while on the right naman ay ang ating estudyante na nandun din sa sarili niyang bahay so like i said in order for you to share your screen, we will be using the screen sharing feature nitong application na ito. You will click on the share option na nandun sa baba ng yung screen na diniscuss ko na kanina. And once you click on that, it will show you a number of options. Pero isa lang ang ating kailangan dyan, which is the screen. Once you click on the screen, it will ask for your permission kung payag ka bang ipakita yung screen mo doon sa mga cellphones na connected sa meeting na ito. And warning lang po, of course, before you do that, make sure na malinis na yung cellphone ninyo dahil baka merong mga maselang files dyan or documents na hindi dapat makita. Tanggalin nyo po muna dahil makikita talaga lahat ng nasa screen ninyo. So we will click on start now.
There you go. As you can see, parehas na po ang nasa screen ng dalawang cellphone. Yung nakikita sa kabila is your actual screen dyan po sa inyong host cellphone. So, before we proceed, I would like to show you this one here na floating tab. Yan po ang gagamitin kung gusto nyo ng e-stop ang screen sharing. So, for example, magbubukas ako ng aking PowerPoint. Every cellphone po ay mayroong pre-installed application na pambukas ng mga iba't ibang klaseng files. So hanapin nyo lang po yung inyo. Ito po yung sa akin which is Kingsoft. Hindi po kasama sa Zoom yan. Nasa cellphone na po ninyo yan. And there it is. Kaya lang patayo po siya. Di po ba ang PowerPoint ay dapat pahiga. So yun po yung dahilan kung bakit pinakita ko yung buong cellphone. Kasi para humiga yan, syempre kailangan ihiga nyo rin yung cellphone ninyo. But before that, of course, iset nyo muna yung PowerPoint nyo base sa pre-installed app. So, sineset ko muna siya ng page by page and then ipapahiga ko po para maging full screen. Kung mapapansin ninyo, nakatayo pa rin yung kabila kasi nakatayo yung cellphone. So, pag hiniga naman po nila yung cellphone nila, hiniga na rin yung screen. And you will be able to do your presentation with audio. So, habang nag pa powerpoint slide kayo, nakakapag-discussion kayo. Yan. So, kung anong gawin nyo rito, dilitaw doon sa kabila. So, now, kunwari, tapos na po tayo sa ating presentation. Like I said, hanapin yung floating tab sa left edge ng yung screen. And then, click on End Screen Sharing. Babalik na po tayo dun sa kanina. Kaya wala po kayo nakikita sa screen kasi tinakpan ko muna yung camera para hindi kayo madidistract. So, that's it. Ngayon, for example, tapos na po ang inyong klase. Doon po sa estudyante, ang pipindutin po niya ay nandun sa topmost right ng kanyang cellphone which is leave. So, pindutin po natin siya. Kunwari, uwi na siya. And then, leave meeting. At tayo namang teacher na nasa kabilang bahay, end naman po yung sa atin. So, we will press that and then it will say either leave the meeting or end the meeting for all. So, dahil tapos na po ang ating klase, we will choose end meeting for all. That's how you use the Zoom Cloud Meetings application para sa inyong cellphone. Hopefully, it will help. As you can see, once connected, whatever you do on the host cellphone, ito ay makikita rin sa screen nung pangalawang cellphone. You can of course use Zoom sa inyong laptop or desktop. Pero paano kung ikaw ay on the go? Wala ka sa bahay mo, hindi mo dalang laptop, nasa mall ka, or nasa bukid, nagkakapi sa Starbucks. That's what makes this mobile version of Zoom very convenient for us teachers. Unlike the desktop version, hindi limitado ang space mo. I hope kahit papano may naitulong sa'yo ang video ito. If it did, please do hit that like button. Be a subscriber to support this channel. And also tap that bell icon so that you won't miss any of our future videos that are related to this one. Once again, this is Sean, your partner from ProjectZine.com. For the meantime, bye muna sa inyong lahat. God bless to all and see you in the next video.